Ready? Did we do it? Are we here? Seriously, no, come on, I dressed up for the occasion. Come on, it's week six, day seven. And I feel like celebrating. I got all dressed up just for you. And actually, I do have to have a special shout out. If you look on my page, I have a big thank you to the woman who made this jacket for me. This is a one of a kind. Thank you, Lisa Nell. I appreciate that so very much. You'll find her website on my page. How blessed some days. And you know why I'm wearing it now? Because it is the absolute definition of the day. Define success. Well, for everybody, success is something different. My girlfriend is in a wheelchair. For her, success would be just to walk across the floor in a pair of high heels. For some of us, success is something else. I would like you to write that down because success comes in different sizes and shapes. For some of us, it's owning a big house, driving a fancy car. Success is all kind of things, but what is your definition of success? I'm living this. Let me tell you something. Want success? I was getting to be... <laughs> I was asked to be the Grand Marshal in a rodeo. How crazy. I mean, I love to ride horses, but they thought of me. I loved it. I didn't know what to wear. So I had the option to go online and find something Western. And I thought, how much money do I want to spend on something I'm never going to wear? And one night in the dark, I came across these beautiful jackets. They were very expensive. I thought, oh, I'm not going to do that just for one night. But then I said, wait a second. I'm kind of successful. I'm kind of on television. Maybe I could just reach out and say, hey, could I borrow it or rent it and trade you some, some advertising? I don't know. I have a half a million Facebook fans. Maybe they'd be curious to know about this too. So I wrote her thinking, I'm never even going to hear from her. Well, guess what? Next day, I get this beautiful message saying, Forbes Riley, I have been a fan of yours for a long time. I own a spin gym and I follow you on home shopping. I would be more than honored to send you a jacket. Seriously? Wait, so then I got so excited, she said, pick one. Well, they're all too beautiful. I couldn't figure it out. So I went on Facebook and I posted a whole bunch of jackets that I loved. Hundreds and hundreds of you responded and said, oh, I like the blue one or the green one. or the It was beautiful. I took that. I sent it back to her. And she wrote me. She said, wow, I'm going to design a one of a kind just for you. Come on, seriously? How exciting. Great definition of success. The fact that someone would do that and reach out and share that with me. It doesn't have to be your definition of success, but I'll tell you what, live in the dream. So personal, what's your definition of success? Financial, what's your definition of success? And what would success look like beyond your wildest dreams? Now, if you've hung out with me long enough, you know that that's the most important one, to dream big. Hmm. Maybe it's hanging out with Richard Branson on Necker Island with all the other multimillionaires. Would you love that? Done that. Maybe it's being included in Chicken Soup for the Soul, books that have sold 600 million copies. Hmm, I did that, me and Mark Victor Hansen. If you look it up, I'm in Chicken Soup for the Soul, Busy Working Moms. Hmm, being on national television, did that. I have to figure out a bigger dream. Hmm, okay, while I think about what that is, you start writing, I'm gonna read one more thing. This is a very interesting part of this program and I'd like you to do this and take it seriously. I want you to take yourself out on a date, nobody else. I want you to go into the bathroom and primp and groom as though you were going out with somebody very special, because you are. And I want you to set aside two or three hours. Maybe you go out for dinner by yourself. Maybe you take yourself to a museum, take yourself to the movies, take yourself to the beach. Do something amazing with the most wonderful person that you now know, you. Tell you what, this is a phenomenal exercise. You will be amazed when you nurture yourself, when you treat yourself as special as you treat somebody else who's special in your life. If this sounds crazy, I don't care. Do it anyway. Turn your page. Because here's the deal. If you're reading this note, hopefully, and I trust you have, you've completed the journal. You've entered in your daily food, you wrote a page for each and one of your exercises, and if you didn't at this moment, go back. Otherwise, just stop, stop, stop. Go back. I don't want to see any empty exercises, okay? And if you haven't, don't worry. I'm going to love you anyway. But this whole journey, and you know it, it's what? It's been about finding yourself. It's about your level of honesty. It's about checking in with yourself in the privacy of your own home. Like I said, I've done this in a group setting. In this particular exercise, you get to do it all by yourself. If you want to redo it or do it with other people, reach out to me. If you find that you want coaching, 
whether you want it in a group setting, you want to come to a seminar with lots of people, you want one-on-one, -on -one, all of that is available to you. Your choice. Remember what the Wicked Witch said to Dorothy. Well, actually, I don't know if it was the Wicked One. Maybe it was Glinda. Depends on how you look at it. That you've always had the power inside of you. Hopefully, all I did was to uncover it. Now, lastly, there is one more exercise, and I need you to do this. I need you to take a moment to share some of your thoughts. The only way this program grows and gets better, remember, it's not a fixed program. We're going to grow and keep finding new, new ways to improve. The, the email is info at myeatjournal.com. Number one, I want you to write out and share this with me. I read all of these. This book, this concept was three years of my life, okay? It changed my life. It changed my body. I'm sharing it with you. I want to know the effect that it had. Just do that for me, please. I want right here. My expectation starting my EAT six-week transformation was, do you even remember what it was? I was most surprised by, and finally, and this is really important, my commitment moving forward is. Identify what your commitment moving forward is. Now, there's some fun things here, by the way. If you don't have a spin gym, and of course, I know you do, but maybe you want to buy one for a friend, there's a discount coupon. Oh, if you want some more information about food. We didn't really focus in this program on the kind of food, what you eat, when you eat, how you eat. All that's available to you. Simply go here, go to My e Journal, and look for that CD series. That will keep you motivated and educated. Really, really important to know why certain foods. What is food combining? Why do I want to eat certain foods with other foods? If I want to burn fat fast, what are the secrets? I've got all of those. How do you think you get this? They're all there in those CDs. And then finally, my gift to you. I've created a community membership site. I'm going to give you an entry into that for free. You get to test the waters, no charge to start. Take a look around. You get to look at all the videos, all the support, and then if you don't want it, there's absolutely no obligation. But if you want to become part of the community, because one of the things that you can do, maybe you become a coach for other people. I'd love to have you part of the team. This has been a very exciting place to be. And finally, take your personal stats. See where you are. And one of the things I need you to send to me, right here, fill my space. What does your success photo look like? Now, by the way, if you've got hundreds of pounds to lose, and I have a lot of clients who do, this is one step. We're going to keep getting you to that ideal body. You can do that. It's one step at a time. But last in closing, I want to thank you for spending this time with me, for allowing me to be your coach, for allowing me to take my personal journey of pain, of struggle, and strife, and put it to good use. We're in this together. We're all on one planet. I'm going to reach out and grab you and hug you and hold you. It's my gift to you, and I'll see you soon.